that's where you are when you log in and then from there you are either going to as these buttons say edit or simulate any one of the models that you may be working on and if i want to know if I want to view the library, which is where I can get a copy of Sensei Seasonings or Collaborative Supply Chains or a lot of other totally cool supply chains, um, you click on View Library and then opens up this window here. Let's, let's load both. Let's load Cincinnati and then we're also going to load Collaborative. So <clears throat> we'll import those copies into our... And actually, if, if you guys... Um, it would be great if you would all log on to your own accounts right now and put me into one window and then <clears throat> follow along. Do what I'm doing. Make sure that this isn't just a passive TV show kind of experience. Make sure that you're you're learning. And when, when you're following along and you're going, hey, wait a minute, that doesn't make any sense. Or, hey, that's not working for me. Then ask a question and we'll we'll get that handled right away. All right. I'm going to I'm going to uh, Cincinnati. Cincy seasonings and i'm going to click save so it'll save a copy of that to my account and then i'm also going to go to collaborative supply chain so i'm going to import a copy of that and we'll call that collaborative sc supply chains i'm going to save a copy of that and then now you know i could i could go directly into edit here but just let's there's a lot of ways to do things i'm just going to show a real simple beginning way as you all become power users you'll learn more but let's keep it super simple to start with so with cincinnati here we go i'm going to click on the edit screen and i see there are also some questions frank do you have are there some questions that i should be addressing or that you well actually i'm just pointing out a couple of things that we go such as uh in the past this uh simulation has worked best in Chrome as well as Firefox. And then the other thing I was just reminding people is once they download a simulation from the library to their account, all they need to do is use the simulations that are in their account, any of the saved states uh, that they um, add to their account. Right, right. And, and so when you look at your, now I've got a lot of active models and then I've got a bunch of save states, but when you're in and hopefully all of you folks are <clears throat> in your account screen right now on your own accounts and the top half of the screen is going to be your active supply chain models and in the bottom half we call the save states which is another way of saying backup copies um, there is no undo in in the app here so before you make a big change